Well, we have a drawing with views on it, but how do I scale my views? How do I position my views? How do I explode my views and more? Let's cover all that now. Now that we've made our drawing, we'll want to work with our views and start to actually add technical information. First, we can see that the views are colliding with the title block in some places and completely off the drawing in other places. So let's work on views. How do we move them? Well, I've got this when I click on a particular view, I get my salmon border that shows up and I get these little directional arrows and I can move this side to side, but I cannot move it up and down. Similarly, in this view, I can click on it and my little salmon border comes up and I can hover my mouse right over those arrows and I can move this up and down, but not side to side. That's because this is my primary view to which this view is horizontally aligned and this view is vertically aligned. And so if I move this view, then I can move all of the views connected to it. Now I may wish to move this view in a way that is out of alignment with my primary view. It's uh, less standard to do so, but if I need to, I can right click and uncheck this align. And now I can move this view uh, completely free and unaligned. I'll hit Control Z though to realign it, or I can simply check this align box and we're aligned again. I may have added a view in my drawing and I may wish to remove it. If so, I can simply click on the view and hit the delete key to remove my view. Here I have my isometric view and that does not maintain alignment with anything and so I can simply move it where I wish. Now I may wish to make this a little bit larger than I originally put it in. And so if I'd like to make this larger, I can change the scale. As I click on my view, you can see that I get a menu that pops up and I can change my scale with this option here. Perhaps I'd like a one to 10 scale. I'll hit the enter key and the scale updates. Now I may also want to change some of the display so I can go view display and I can change this from standard to draft. And that will deliver me some thinner lines, maybe save some ink if I print it out. I also can go to my view display and make it shaded. This feature of course is in professional and expert, but this gives me a colorized shaded view. That's a little bit more CAD looking, or should I say solid model looking. I also can go to manage view and add some whole callouts, cosmetic threads, whole centers, and other things, which are probably more relevant when working in a different view. Change my view type back to standard. Now, if I wish to insert a view of uh, something else, or if I wish to insert a view that is of a different configuration, maybe a different configuration or an exploded view, way well, I can do all of that by going to Sheets and Views, and click on Standard View. From here, perhaps I'd wish to insert an isometric view of my exploded section, of my exploded assembly. I'll change this to Exploded View, and here I have unchecked every view except for the isometric one. I'll insert that, and I have an isometric view that I've been able to insert into my drawing. So we're able to insert views into drawings various ways, and we're able to manage the views in various ways. Now that we're really rolling on this drawing, we're gonna go through other important views in the upcoming videos like sections and details and many more. See you then.